Good morning, metalheads of the internet. Um, today we're talking about Disharmonium, Undreamable Abysses, the latest studio album from French avant-garde experimental black metal crusaders, Blut Us Nord, and um, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. This album's fucking horrifying. This album scared the fucking bejesus out of me. I mean, sweet Kentucky goddamn fried fuck. Even by the standards of Blood Us Nord, this is a, a truly unsettling display. Buckle in, ladies and gentlemen. For just about 30 years now, Blood Us Nord have been responsible for perhaps one of the most unsettling discographies, one of the most horrifying bodies of work that any black metal band could possibly claim. And they've done so by constantly challenging the norms and the conventions of black metal, by branching out into bizarre, far-out territory, by putting out records like The Work Which Transforms God, which is a concept album, in spite of being mostly instrumental with none of the lyrics made public, is meant to challenge the listener's prejudices and preconceptions about reality and various metaphysical subjects through multiple, multi-part concept album series, such as the 777 Trilogy, released in the early 2010s, or the Memoria Vastuta series, which at this point spans three decades, with the first part being released in 1996 and the most recent chapter being released in 2014. I don't know if Blood Usnord is really considered a, a pioneer, for avant-garde and experimental black metal, but I do believe with all my heart, they've been at the forefront of this genre since its inception with some of its most cutting edge and thought-provoking and brutal material. At the very least, they've inarguably paved the way for so much of the experimental and avant-garde black metal that we've seen in recent years from Liturgy, Imperial Triumphant, Aranci Pazuzu, and many, many, many more. So yeah, it goes without saying that I'd be pretty pumped for anything Blood Us Nord related, even if it were just an EP or a, a couple of standalone singles, but no, we have a full-blown studio album, Disharmonium, and it's, it's, it's fucking gnarly. It kind of feels like a culmination of everything the band have done up to this point. It very much builds on the, the foundation of 2019's Hallucinogen, but it also pulls influences from across Blood Usnord's vast body of work, from a lot of the records that we've talked about and from numerous EPs and collaborations that they've done. While there is no one document or, or social media post explicitly stating or confirming that H.P. Lovecraft was a big influence on Disharmonium, many fans certainly believe that his work was. I certainly feel that he is, because, I mean, just listen to the fucking thing. It is Lovecraftian, Lovecraft-esque in, in size, in scope, and atmosphere. And I don't even mean just sonically. This thing physically feels like a Lovecraftian monster towering over you, ready to, to swallow your soul or, or crush you or, or whatever the fuck. It's a truly nightmarish concoction of ghoulish uh, vocal screams and, and eerie vocal chanting of, of angular and complex rhythms and soundscapes and arrangements of demented, monstrous, flailing percussion and oppressive guitar work. Y'all watch Evil Dead, right? Like, y'all know what the Necronomicon is? The literal book of the dead? Bound in human flesh, inked in human blood? Yeah, uh, this album makes the Necronomicon look like something that Dr. Seuss crapped out in an afternoon. Don't believe me? Fine, the proof is in the pudding, so eat the fuck up, bro. Like, Chance the Deep Ones is is a maelstrom of of anguished noise and blackened mayhem. It, it sounds like I'm being swallowed into a black hole. Synthesizers and shadowy, mysterious vocal textures and choirs loom in the forefront of the sound and are illuminated by some truly bloodthirsty, demented, 
brutal black metal riffery and percussive beatdowns. I mean, this thing is gnarly. This thing feels like I'm being violently bludgeoned to death by some kind of uh, supernatural entity. It's an absolutely overwhelming display that goes on for seven and a half minutes, and it's only the first track on the fucking record. Building on the momentum, or perhaps more appropriately the chaos of this cut, Tales of the Old Dreamer uh, lays down a solid foundation of intentionally monotonous and repetitive kind of black metal, death metal percussion, and on top of it, paints a maelstrom of insane, rambling, psychotic, atmospheric, and abrasive black metal. The instruments swell and swoon almost like violins in a, in a classical orchestra, but despite that, it never once loses its edge or its bloodthirst. It still feels genuinely very brutal. Then you have Neptune's Eye, which throws a little bit more classic black metal flavor into the mix with some more tremolo riffing and some more typical kind of black metal percussion. Do not for a moment be fooled by this into thinking that you're suddenly gonna get a second wave black metal worship rager in the vein of something like, I don't know, a, a classic mayhem or dark throne cut, or maybe something that we've come to expect from uh, Spectral Wound or, or Wetane or whatever. Like, this is still a, a, a genuinely pretty thing. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. If anything, the traditional black metal elements combined with the more uh, progressive and, and horrifying uh, ideas and arrangements makes this all the more oppressive, as if the monster that we've been talking about this whole time has been birthed through some kind of horrible black magic ritual and now he is rampaging through the streets without mercy. And then expanding on that, you have That Cannot Be Dreamed, which unleashes a level of apocalyptic doom that, yeah, true to its title, I could not possibly have dreamed. It's, it's big. It's easily the biggest thing on the record, like sonically. It is massive, huge, uh, grueling fucking riffs. I mean, what more can I say, man? It's just so unsettling. It's, it's so powerful. And it's so exciting like i i loved getting to know this record as as scary as it was as weird as it was i was consistently so invested in this record it's such a rewarding experience especially on repeat listens like i feel like i'm learning more about this record the more i return to it it feels like rereading a really good book or rewatching a really good movie you know like i'm noticing the more intricate plot details that i didn't notice the first time I saw this movie or read this book. I'm noticing Easter eggs and references that I didn't pick up on the first time around. Is it so chaotic and so gigantic that it could prove egregious for some, overwhelming for some? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Like, if you're brand new to black metal and avant-garde music, I would not recommend checking this thing out at all. But I mean, if you love Blood Us Nard, or if you just really appreciate dark, complex, fucked up music, then honestly, I don't think you could ask for a better way to spend your fucking weekend. I will concede that the pacing could be a little better on this record. Um, like, there are certain moments where I feel like Blood Usnard would benefit from picking things up a, a little bit. Just a, just a wee little bit. But it's all still very effective and impactful despite that. And considering the level of, of skill on display here, considering how much work very clearly went into arranging all of this, it's possible that any suggestions I make would actively fuck up the record. So I'll just, you know, uh, I'll, I'll just have to suck it up and deal with it and move on and just appreciate the record for what it is. Which is what I did, and it's what I intend to do. Very, very enthusiastic 4.5 out of 5 on this. Honestly, we're very close to a 5 out of 5. I mean, this is everything I kind of want from, like, a really gnarly extreme metal record. It's unpredictable. It's insane. It's scary. It's, it's just an absolutely fantastic display. Approach with extreme caution, particularly if you are easily frightened, but 
do approach nonetheless, because I do sincerely believe that this is one of the best albums I've heard so far in 2022, and it is, without question, the most horrifying, the most terrifying, the most spooky, the most scary, the most whatever fucking buzzword you want to insert here right now. 4.5 out of 5, it's fucking incredible. Holy shit. Alright, thank you for watching, and thank you for being here, Chompy. It was really scary. I don't know if I could have done this without you. Uh, let me know what you thought of the record. Let me know what you want to hear next from the Metal Meltdown. Blah, 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 blah. Press this button right here where my finger is to subscribe in case you somehow have not already. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.